Hey guys, what's up? We're coming to you from the University of Texas at El Paso. Which, in case you didn't know, is one of the top schools in the U.S. to award bachelor degrees to Hispanics. Texas El Paso is located in the sunny city of El Paso, Texas which is a diverse metro area with over 700,000 residents, including more than 46,000 soldiers, families, and civilian staff stationed at Fort Bliss. With over 300 days of sun each year, you'll find plenty of exciting outdoor activities at your fingertips. UTEP offers students some spectacular views. The mountains right behind me are called the Chihuahua Mountains, and they're located in Mexico. It's so different from anywhere in the United States that you can find. You can find people from all over the world and you can find very different cultures. The food is great, the people is great, the weather is wonderful, you don't get snow, you don't get rainy days, it's sunshine and happiness in here. UTEP's unique campus features buildings that have been modeled after Bhutanese architecture. The dark brick with the mosaic and the shape of mandalas are a symbol of unity and wholeness. The University of Texas El Paso enrolls more than 20,000 students, a majority of which are Hispanics from the El Paso area. Men make up about 44% of the student population, and women about 56%. The University of Texas at El Paso has a rolling admissions policy, so we admit students throughout the year. We do take into account uh, academic preparation and a college preparation curriculum. Freshmen who rank in the top 25% of their class, or who score a minimum of 10-10 on the SAT, or a 21 composite on the ACT, are automatically admitted to UTEP. Students that don't meet this criteria can get a reviewed admission to see if they qualify to be accepted. Tuition for Texas residents runs approximately $2,700 per semester. And for out-of-staters, that figure jumps up to just under $5,500 per semester. On-campus housing runs between $1,700 and $2,400 per semester, depending on the number of students and bedrooms per unit. UTEP offers more than 80 bachelor's degrees, more than 70 master's level degrees and programs, and 14 doctorates. Plus, they're adding even more in the near future. Some of the most popular majors include mechanical and civil engineering, nursing, criminal justice, elementary education, and accounting. I'm getting a very valuable education. Uh, UTEP is growing in recognition year after year. Here at UTEP, since we are a border city, um, you get a little bit of both worlds. You get to see what it's like to mix uh, international business as well as local business. And that really helps in you know, future references for how to deal with somebody coming from another country. I made the best choice of my life coming here. You may be interested to know that UTEP has the number one graduate engineering school for Hispanics in the nation, according to Hispanic Business Magazine. The university is also one of the top three schools in the state in terms of research spending. We're inside the Keck Building Center. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, well, yes, it started off with a WM Keck uh, Foundation. They donated, a, they gave us a million dollars for to do uh, biomedical research. Cool, and what do these machines around me do? Uh, this technology that we have here, we're the the largest university pretty much in the world with the most RP technology, uh, varying from uh, stereolithography, fusible position modeling, uh, even metal, metal manufacturing now. UTEP has more than 1,100 faculty members and with more than 30% minority faculty, it has one of the highest percentages among universities in the United States. My experience with the UTEP faculty is that we're all on board with trying to integrate teaching with research and, and certainly making the research available for the students. One of the things that's kept me here is the diversity of the faculty and I think that also helps me to grow. There's a lot of collaboration between the departments, there's a lot of cooperation um, and opportunity here at El Paso. Fourteen men's and women's minor athletic teams compete at the Division I level in Conference USA. The recent movie Glory Road was inspired by the school's 1966 national championship where the unheralded minors defeated the mighty Kentucky Wildcats in basketball. My first UTEP game, uh, sitting in the student section, uh, I had never been to a UTEP game before even though I lived in El Paso, but it was a sold out crowd and I was in like, the front row seat and just remembering just being there with everybody and uh, every time they scored a touchdown since I was the lightest guy, uh, they got me and they just tossed me up uh, for the touchdown. Every touchdown they scored and uh, Bad thing, it was a kind of a high scoring game, so I was up there several times, but it was fun. UTEP is also the home of the Sun Bowl, which is the second oldest continuously played bowl game, which began in 1935. Back in 1914, UTEP started out as a mining college. There's an actual cave on campus. That's why they're called the Miners. Thirteen different residence halls make up the Miner Village on campus for students who wish to be close to all the action at UTEP. The 
Whether it's political, academic, social, or cultural interests that get your attention, UTEP features over 170 diverse organizations, offering students everything from anime to religion to computer gaming. Did you know that UTEP is the country's only doctoral research intensive university with a student body that's predominantly Mexican-American? Or that famous alumni include a prominent television newsman and even an astronaut? Bhutan is recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's largest published book, and it's located in the UTEP Library. So, if you're looking for a technology-forward university in the sunny Southwest, which is one of the leading research institutions in the U.S., be sure to check out the University of Texas at El Paso today. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for joining us on our tour of the University of Texas at El Paso. I'm Shayna Jean. And I'm Nicole Aaron for University TV. We'll see you real soon. Adios! Adios.